Ooh, focus. Hi guys. Hi guys. I didn't think I was loud enough. Okay. So I'm driving, but I have the camera propped up. So hopefully it won't fall. And hopefully it'll stay focused. It's been a minute since I've been on here, but I'm here now. A lot of things have taken place since um, my last YouTube videos, but now I'm back. So, um, as you can tell by the title, I am expecting a little baby. <laughs> Not a little booger, but a little gummy bear. Um, and I am five weeks. So this is going to be a car vlog, I guess. Um, I would do it sitting down in my room, but I'm hungry, so, and it's, it's eight, it's like 8.30, so it should be getting dark soon anyway. Um, so I thought, why not just bring the camera with me? And I know it's gonna look like I'm talking to myself, and I don't have the type of car where it can be, where I can talk on the phone in my car. But anyways, I'm rambling. So, I'm going to tell you guys my five week symptoms. No, my zero to five week symptoms, which I don't know why people say zero. Tenth, okay. So, the day after conception um, I woke up in the morning and I was shaking like I was literally shaking I could not like I walked down the steps because I just could not lay there in the bed so I walked down the steps and I could hardly keep my balance I was just I felt dehydrated I felt I don't know I just felt really really off so that was weird but I didn't pay any attention to it because I'm just like okay maybe you're really close to me that car was really close to me <laughs> but I'm just thinking maybe um, I don't know something's going on my periods about to come on and my hormones are off like, I didn't know so I didn't pay no attention to it and so that was probably around the 15th 17th of May so then that next weekend I went out of town and as soon as I woke up on that Monday yeah as soon as I woke up on that Monday I was extremely nauseous like I was very very nauseous but it only it didn't last too long it just lasted for a little bit then I lost my appetite I never lose my appetite I lost my appetite and that was about it for that weekend it was just those weird things happening that don't normally happen so I knew something again was weird but didn't pay any attention to it and then when I got back from being out of town that week, I think I got back that Tuesday, um, I had heat flashes for two days straight. And these heat flashes were so strong. I mind you, I'm a hairstylist, so a lot of, you know, I style with the blow dryer for a lot of the things that I do, so that heat from the blow dryer was only making it worse. So I was getting hot flashes, I was getting dizzy, I would be faint, and I'm I'm faint. I'm I'm faint sometimes. So that wasn't um really weird to me. But yeah, so I was faint and then after those two days, the next two days after that, I had a he I had headaches like on both sides just strong and it just wasn't it was really really bad and so I never have period symptoms I never have like oh and bloated I knew well when I went out of town I was bloated and I kept saying uh, the bottom of my stomach felt really um, 
felt really big in these leggings that I was actually it was it was these leggings that I have on now. Yeah, the bottom of my stomach was just bulging out, and usually in these leggings it doesn't do that. So I was like, this is this is so weird, and I would try to like suck my stomach in, and it just wasn't cooperating. So yeah, that that was one, and then the headaches, and um. I'm about to go in here and order me something to eat so i'm gonna pause this video because they close at 9 and it's 8 40. so yeah i will be right back okay i'm back <laughs> and it's darker Duh. i knew that would happen but anyways um i think i was leaving off at the headaches so yeah, I had headaches and then, oh yeah, so like I was saying, focus, like I was saying, I never have um, like weird period, like oh my, my, my boobs hurt so my period's about to come on, like that never happens with me. The only thing that really happens, I get real bad mood swings. So I did have mood swings and my boobs did hurt. They were, um, they were tender. They didn't necessarily hurt. They were just tender. So, um, oh, I hate that it's dark. <laughs> yeah, it's dark. Okay. Well, yeah. So, then I was just like, you know what? It, it won't hurt to take a pregnancy test. It just so happened that my roommate had one. So I went to her room and I was like, hey, do you have a pregnancy test? And she was like, yeah. She was like, but I've had them for a while, so don't go, you know, don't go by what it says. But um, when we checked later, it, it, when I checked later, it wasn't expired. Um, so clearly it was right anyway. But yeah, so I took the pregnancy test and in less than a minute, it came up positive and I was just like, it's old. <laughs> That, that was really my mentality about that when I was just like, it's old, like, I'm gonna go buy a million more. So, I uh, um, went back to her room and I was like, came up positive, um, do you wanna come me to the store to get some more? And she was like, yeah. And so we left and it started pouring down right in. So I was just like, oh my gosh, this is about to be a dramatic day. <laughs> So, went to the store and I think I bought a three pack of the first response. So, I was like, I'm gonna take two now and then I'm gonna take one tomorrow morning. So, I took two and it came up, One of both of them came up positive, but the line was very faint. Like the line was really, really, really faint, but it did say positive. So I'm the type of person where I'll research stuff because I want to know, like, I hate the smoke, but I want to know what every, like, what what this means or what that means. So there were people saying that even if it's a faint line, it's positive. It's considered positive. So I was like, oh my gosh. So then I'm like, dang, I have to wait until tomorrow morning to take another one. So I tried to like force myself to go to sleep so it would hurry up and come. But being that I'm anxious about if it's gonna be positive or not, I can't even get myself to sleep. So eventually I go to sleep. I wake up at like five and I take the test and it says positive. So I'm like, the line was faint, but it was way darker than the, than the other ones I had taken the day before that. So I was like, okay. I'm gonna buy, I wanna buy some more, but this time I'm like, I wanna buy the more expensive ones, like the clear blue, you know, the electronic ones. So then I'm like, all right, so I'm gonna go buy some more. So I go to the store and then, but I went, I think I went back to sleep and then I went to the store around 12 and I got two, it was a box of two of the electronic clear blue pregnancy test. And as soon as I dipped the stick in my urine and laid it on the table and it's supposed to load like four bars I think it took again less than a minute it got to bar two and then it just ended the loading and just said pregnant and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> like I was like Oh my gosh, like I just could, I, had, I really was at a loss for words because 
for one it's unplanned so it was just like like is this real like you just start kind of having doubts like no I'm not I'm not so then the next morning I took the second one and it said pregnant again so I was just like all right I need to go to the doctor and I need them to tell me if I am or not and it's dark again I need them to tell me if I am or not let me see if I move it over here that'll be better that's ratchet okay I'm just gonna get out oops sorry so yeah I was like I'm gonna, t I'm gonna get them to tell me if I am or not so sorry there's a lot of noise <laughs> so then I go to the doctor and they come out and they're like um, it's positive. And I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, okay. But, um, yeah. So then after my doctor's appointment, I have just been really tired and hungry. And it's not a normal hungry. It's like when I'm hungry, I need to be like that's how hard it hits me so that and um constipation <laughs> tmi but yeah i mean it's a pregnancy vlog what do you expect but yeah constipation and um a lot of discharge like it's sometimes it's, yeah beware of that but that's most that's mainly it for my symptoms as of right now, um, I think, oh, thirsty, my mouth gets really dry, and I'm just not, I'm just now getting that metal taste that people talk about, so yeah, and emotional, I was really emotional before I found out for sure, so yeah, but that's about it, um, I might have pictures at the end of this video showing, you know, what my stomach looks like. But I'm probably not going to put this video out, video out until I'm 10 weeks. Because 5 weeks is really early. So, yeah, you'll probably see this video when I'm 10 weeks. But I'll have 6, 7, 8, 9. So that y'all can see those too.